have here today is an 83 millimeter turbo sitting on top of a Brodix headed small block Chevrolet combination. Should make very, very good power. So we're gonna be looking at somewhere in the range of 25 pounds of boost and we should see well upwards of a thousand horsepower. This is the old fashioned. We're kind of going backwards because that's what the rules say. And what you need to do is use mechanical injection. Mechanical injection is an art in itself and we've got some help today. So thank God we've got some help for that. We're gonna have help on the tuning front today. This is a methanol motor. So Danny is here. He's gonna help out. This motor actually belongs to uh, John Van Horn and uh, he's a long time ASTTQ tractor puller. Um, so that's going to be the, the province of Quebec. Um, they have a big series. It's an exciting series. They have a lot of these tractors. And if you win in that series, you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and compete in the top five. So we're going to work our way through that today. We're going to have a lot of fun. You can't do that with this motor. You have to let go completely. Because it, it, oh, it, let go completely it, when you're done? You're yeah. getting a shit ton of fuel that you're not... You're not burning. You're not. Yeah. It's going to be sick. On this one, bring it up. Hold the boost. Uh, what do you guys make there? Lots. What is this so much? It's like you guys. Definitely. It's coming in hard. Okay, at this point we've made one pass. Uh, just a sort of a warm-up pass. Put a little bit of heat in the motor. Motor's starting good, running good. But uh, too much fuel. That's why they're here, to find out how much fuel do they need. Uh, it made quite a bit of boost. The engine temperature really didn't come up. The EGT should be somewhere around 1,000. We were only around 600. So it's going to make a, uh, a fairly good size uh, jetting change. So the return pill is uh, returning more fuel and not shoving quite so much down in the engine. And away we go. We'll try it again. Okay, we noticed when we went to start it for the second pass, it's a little bit lazy to get started and they haven't been having that uh, normally when they're at home. They wanted to bring it here to put it under some duress and we're finding a few things. Made a couple of uh, jetting changes, but now the housing on the turbo was just a little bit crooked. So they're gonna make another adjustment. This is the place to do that. You don't wanna be going to the racetrack or the pulling track and show up there and the thing doesn't run and you have to figure it out the last second, you're running around like crazy. Here's the place to do that. Okay, on a carbureted style intake with a turbo going to a small block, you have what's called a hat. The hat kind of goes right down to transfer the air charge into the intake. The hat's a little bit too long in this case, so they want to just sort of change the angle going to the turbo so that the turbo housing doesn't have any stress on it. That's what they're doing right now. Just make a small adjustment to the hat. Eleven sixty four, yeah. Now, uh, did we get leaner? Not much. Not much. Wow. Not much. All right, we made our second pass uh, up to eleven hundred sixty four horse, and it, it seems to be kind of progressing up. Still, we feel like there's too much fuel and not enough heat, but that's the nature of methanol. You basically can run methanol very rich; it'll still make power, but to get it to make the kind of power that you want. You still got to do AFR. AFR still got to be correct. The scale with methanol is completely different. You're going to be like from 3.26 to 7.3, and you're going to be in somewhere between 5 and 6 is going to be very nice. 
to make uh, really good power. So we're going to check the plugs again, um, check the pills, and make another couple of adjustments. And try it again. Sounded healthier that time, didn't it? Sounded a lot healthier. <laughs> no flames out the out no. There. Okay, after the third pass and 1,235 horsepower, we're doing a quick oil change. It's still too rich. Now, the problem with a boosted motor with too rich is eventually some of it's going to go past the rings. If methanol goes past the rings, it goes into the oil, it starts to destroy the integrity of the oil. So we want to make sure that everything stays good. We stay at around 100 pounds of uh, oil pressure, somewhere in the 96 or so range. And um, we're still creeping up on the tune. Timing's timing's timing, but we're trying to get the fuel correct. We revved it a bit higher that time. We're, we're up in that 6,500 RPM range, but just worried about putting so much fuel in because too much fuel on the top of the piston is going to start to put load on the, the rod and the rod's eventually going to want to fail. So trying to stay away from that. At this point, we're questioning the size of the fuel pump. This was not a built these guys did from scratch. They bought most of it and they're just attempting to tune it. So we're working away at it. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is we're switching the sensor over and we're going to reboost. So we can see a boost curve and we've also set up a boost safety because the last thing we want to do is injure the motor. And the motor's really, you know, better off at 25, 26 pounds of pressure max. And so we've done a couple of things. We've switched the sensor over so we can track it. And this used to have a little pipe on it. And so with the pipe on there's going to be extra resistance on the blow-off valve. So this will just blow clean off now. That's, that was a nice pass. That was a nice pass. It sounded good, eh? I wrapped it a little bit higher there, still, but it was nice. It was controllable. It was good. I'll put a meter spring in it. It'll start bleeding away the pressure sooner. Okay, as we uh, creep through our fourth pass coming into our fifth pass, just more changes again, and that's why everybody's here, is to, to learn what's, what's happening with the setup and how to, how to make it the best they can. They're finding that the fuel pump is pretty much just oversized for the amount of power that it needs to make. So what we're doing right now is actually lessening the pressure on the actual physical pump. So there's springs in the pump, and obviously you put a stiffer spring, the pump's going to push harder against it. You put a weaker spring, and you're going to have a, uh, less pressure to push against it. That's the next step. And again, this is why you want to do it on the dyno, because it's going down the track. Once you get a good bolt going, you're just simply not going to let it out. You're going to just keep going and you may end up with a rod through the side of the block and, you know, 8, 9, 10 seconds wide open throttle, it's going to be really hard on this motor with this much fuel. making five passes. We have crept up on the horsepower. The tune is coming. It, it, again, it's challenging when you're dealing with a, a build that somebody else started with. The, the motor's running good, um, way too much fuel, but we're up to 1,338 horsepower, right about 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, and it's just a process of learning here today. We, we're thinking that possibly the bottom end might get a little bit uh, lean or hard to start in the next pass, but that's what we're going to try, and we're going to go from there. tricky to get started but we got it. Yeah. 
it's definitely a little fussier. Right? Yeah, well, it's harder to do everything. 1350 now, 1,000 foot down. Oh, Okay, it's been a good, successful day of testing. I, I forget how many passes we put in, like seven or eight passes. Um, it was rich all day long. The pump for the motor, it's a mechanical pump. It's a really neat system that they have. They're stuck in a box of rules. So you're stuck in cubic inch. Um, you're stuck with the type of turbo, the type of cooling. So they're making this run the best they can within a box of rules. This goes into what's called a mini pulling tractor. 31 inch tires, eight feet long, and it's allowed to weigh 2,050 pounds with the driver in it. The idea here is to get it to run as smooth as possibly and load in nicely and come up through the range. So we've worked on that all day long. And of course you want to make lots of power. I think the first test was like 970 horsepower. The last test we just did was 1,400 horsepower and it's, revving 7800 and it's happy and it's shut off and idled and started and so kind of a good day a lot of learning going on still a little bit more bleeding on the high speed needs to be done but these guys will go back they'll look at the results and they'll make a couple more changes and should be ready to go to the first poll.